re-educated. I said with all this education. You still want to remain as you are. She said no brother Komich. I said, won't you want also to be a mother of some children? He says, yes, brother. That would be a great fulfillment in my life. So it's not really the money that matters for a woman. It's not really the natural position that you see here. Boys, I'm giving you a tip. In case you think she's educated, then I cannot go to her. Education is just a hair crutch to survive in this life. Go talk to her. Ask her, I want you to be the mother of my children. Even if you can't read, she will understand your language. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. yeah. But I want to say also to Brother Conrad. We did not marry a boy. We married a man. Approach these things like a man. Yeah. Boyhood ended yesterday. Yeah. We are now dealing with a man. Yeah. Rise up higher and have the concepts of a man. Anyway, uh, sorry, I, I, I'll talk about that later. But you know, I like your seal. I like your extroversy. But in it all, we want to see the qualities of a man in you. You did not marry that woman for your mother. Neither is she for your aunts. That's not your father's second wife. She's your wife. Take care of her. Let her learn the ways of God. Through your leadership. Praise the Lord. I really want to appreciate Brother Mayuni. Hallelujah. That was very good preaching yesterday. Very complimentary. Praise the Lord. In Brother Kumamotse, I see a real pastor. Praise the Lord. If you open the spoken word and look at the description of a pastor, how, it's this man. How He's just made that way. And I'm glad the scripture of Jeremiah is happening in this church. I'll give you pastors according to my heart. There is your gift God has given you. Praise the Lord. As for me personally, I pastor a church, but I don't think I am a pastor. It's these things that we just inherited in our country. You could not be. You could not be recognized without having a group also that you are leading. Yeah. 
So like David, we went and took the Philistines, fox skins, and brought them back. But honestly, I never thought I am a pastor. The testimony is there, very large numbers. But I never thought. And I still think I'm not a pastor. in this uh, five year anniversary I want people who try and also, you know, uh, appreciate what is happening. What an opportunity to have my own son standing before me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, brothers, let's talk about the message of the hour. Evangelism will come in the afternoon. But let's talk about the message. Let's measure up to that level. If I say things that you don't understand, Pastor Sam is here. I understand the concepts of the message. And also my language, I understand it. Right? So he'll come here and always fill in the gaps. But I really want to talk to your heart. Are we open this morning? Glory! Praise the Lord. I, I, I want to salute the Tswanas themselves here. Yeah, I want to salute them so much. I salute them so much. 
you people, you are very good people. You have housed my brothers. Le here. Le is here. Those are not scholars. They are Zimbabweans. Has about to an ake but balletso la Zimbabwe. You have housed very well. But about le but tradite cinq. There is not scholar called Chikati. Those are Zimbabweans. Ah, ona moto na bichi Chikati. You have given them a lot of comfort. Please continue to work with them like that. Praise the Lord. They are our brothers. God raised their situation at home so that they could be here. But we are the hard type. We don't run away from home. Praise the Lord. Come hell, come thunder. Come Robert, come E.T. Come Robert, come E.T. You find us home. Praise the Lord. I have heard Amen. I would like to appreciate one Malawian uh, brother, brother Chwaula. He is around. Okay, okay. Hey Chwaula. Hey Chwaula. What you need to <laughs> Amen. Amen. He's a dear friend of ours. I've, I've known him through, through, through his pastoring brother, Pastor Chwaula. A very intelligent person. That I passed condolences when he was not here. His brother's son, Martin, had to be with the Lord. Everybody here will value your presence. We so much love you to be here. I'm happy to be preaching to Kurumani. Thou must prophesy again before many peoples, nations, and tongues, and kings. Who is God talking to them? John, Johan, who is John? He represents the bride. He represents New Jerusalem. God talking to the city of God. John, Johan, who is John? He represents the bride. When it is to love, he represents New Jerusalem. God talking to the city of God. Happening in the spiritual, and when the prophet.
David was here, he says that I've espoused you to one husband. We ask for permissions this morning. May you do something. May you speak to your, to your wife this morning. Help us, Father God, as part of the fivefold ministry, in our efforts, oh God, to try and explain one or two things. We pray for the movement of the Holy Ghost. May he come, oh God, and touch the souls of your people. In Jesus' name we pray and thank you. Amen. Amen. Glory. Kalalelo. I'm going to ask for a favor from the trustees. Pastor Kumomotse likes this one. Me, I don't like this one. I want to put it here. Because I use my hands, use my eyes, use my feet. So I, I move also. Praise the Lord. When you come to Harare, come to us as well. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ah, where is Brother Nyamaidenga? Yeah, Tagarsa Snoj Gamariago, be ready. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I will not be very long. I'm normally a long and winded preacher. But because of my pastor, I am always given a cap and a limit to doing my things. So don't worry, don't worry about my talking. All of a sudden, how close? But I may also deny closing because. Uh, I don't fear my friend because we are friends. We are almost the same age. So if it is fight, we can fight very well. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, brothers, from the time you have come to the Lord, I don't think you are children anymore. We really appreciate the Lord for the great things that have happened to bring you from the east and west to bring you from the lands of what were you coming for? To feast with the king to dine as his guest. Praise the Lord. But this message is a little bit different from the Because Paul faced a problem. Praise the Lord. The children who were Jews also became Christians. By tape. When they became Christians, Paul faced one problem. Those people who became Christians, they took Judaism into Christianity. And they resisted the message so much that the message could not move forward. At one time, they caused Paul to be shaved. At one time, he gives the hope. When he was with the Romans, he was trying to show them all the new hope that was there. That was Christ Jesus. He also goes to the Hebrews. He is trying to show them that this law that you have believed did not end just being as the law. It must transform into Jesus Christ. As he was doing that, they would stone him. And many times he was taken for death. He faced a lot of resistance from the Judaizers simply because they were born with a custom. Let me say, church, church here, don't bring 
Your understanding into this message. Put on the garment of the message of the hour. Appreciate where it's going and where it's coming from. Are we together? There must be an intended end where we must get to. And that is the desire of every minister. That as a church, we all get to that place. But ministers too, at times they don't see the way. They don't know where we must be getting to. And they continue going right right round in the wilderness. They go without a message. Because they failed to see how the journey must be must be mapped out. Even Brother Branham, you hear him say, I've been on this mountain too long. I must move. Are we together? Are more. Even yourself. I'm also appealing to you this morning. Don't stay there. Move forward into the realms of the message. See what this message was. And let's do that exactly. Praise the Lord. In terms of age, I'm not too young. In terms of repentance, I'm not, I'm not too young either. In terms of experiences, these are the experiences I want to talk to you about. So, let's go forward. Yeah, let's go forward. If it is dense, it's in the afternoon. Praise the Lord. So I read this quotation. The, and the world is groaning, waiting today. It's in the message, Revelation, Book of Symbols. It goes, and the world is groaning, waiting today. People don't know the mystery of God. In other words, you are failing to know Revelation 107. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God will be revealed. So, so there is a mystery that must be fulfilled. What is a mystery? It's a scripture that was previously hidden now divinely revealed. But the supernatural element remains. Brother, forward. Also understand the supernatural part of that scripture. What it means. Where it must drive you. This is what we desire you to appreciate this morning. Why? They have not been taught the mystery of God. And I'm glad here you are taught the mystery of God. The only thing they have been taught is join church. Put your name on the book. Be a good fellow. Treat your neighbor right. We all know those things. Are we together? Yeah. Hey. Ourselves from Pentecostals that Pentecost. a Pentecostal message. It's just like you being told do not smoke. 
That's not an end time message. Are we together? If you would smoke in the Pentecostals, they would throw you to the devil. You are failing on the levels of Pentecost. Are we together? So we are beyond Pentecost. Which means there are things that we must do. That show and explain that we are beyond Pentecost. We are at that level. I remember that little boy spoken of by the prophet who grew up in a royal area and he would see his father as he was shaving. They had only a small little, 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 little mirror. And when he would get to the mirror, he would only see his little face. Praise the Lord. He never knew what was all down here. He had not seen himself. And he would see his father there struggle to see his face trying to shave from the little mirror. Then what happened? One day he visited the aunt who was in town who was a bit affluent. Uh, you can manage that. Uh, now we got an interpreter. Clap hands for this boy. I so much appreciate. My own son. Interpreting for me. And ah, this is wonderful. Let the fire fall. Amen. And when he visited the town, the aunt was living in a suburb. Their house was a story building. And they would move with steps. From the first step to the last step. And when the boy got to the last step, she started to sow something that was big. She saw something that was big. Ah, he saw something that was big. What was this? It was a big mirror. That was stacked in the in the uh, in, in the in the in the staircase way. And the boy said, "You? When? And the boy also pointed." You? When? You waved. How are you? And the other boy also waved. How are you? I said, hey. Hey. And the, the boy also personified. He says, I'll beat you. I'll beat you. What is happening? He tried running away. And the boy was doing the same. He says, What is going on here? Hallelujah. That boy and this boy we look the same. He looked at his hair and the boy's hair. He looked at his arms and the boy's arms. He looked at his body and the boy's little body. Then later he realized there are no two people here. There is one person here and he cried out. He said, Mama, that's me. Let me tell you, friends, all the time your pastor was standing here, he was describing somebody, and that somebody was you. He was describing you with your good match in the Bible, and every day you were seeing yourself. But we want you to come to the realization when you can cry out and say, Mama, Mama. me and the Bible verses, Mama, Mama. me and the scriptures that I read, we are the same, Mama, that's me. 
Praise the Lord. And also see from this little story that boy was climbing a pyramid. He was climbing seven steps. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From faith. Paul, Paul to Semina Irenaeus to Pegamos St. Martin, Martin to Columba, Columba coming with temperance Hallelujah. Hallelujah we are out in Germany by Luther, Luther. Hallelujah. Hallelujah the patience of God further into England Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John Wesley, John Wesley by that brand that was taken out of the fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And you come into Laodicea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From there you have done your seven steps. Where do you go after the seven steps? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If it is future home, you go going to the eighth day. Are we together? After the seven steps, where do you go? Into the rapture. But for you to be in that rapture, must see yourself. But I you beginning to see yourself? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Huh? Huh? It becomes the masterpiece of God. God has been giving an image. But when standing there, and it's a complete image. What did Michelangelo say? Michelangelo He said, Moses speaks. Something has been building. And the word is a seed. Every time it gets into your heart, it has an effect upon your life. Look at the way you are dressing. And look at the way you dress today. It's because a seed got into your heart. Look at the way you are behaving. Look at the way you behave today. It's because a seed got into your heart. That's it when it germinates. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It produces life. It is a There was a genesis in your life. Genesis speaks of genes. Genesis speaks of the beginnings. Genesis speaks of the starting point. And the seed of God was planted in you. But it must come to the end, to the harvest period, which is the revelation. Yes, it must be harvested. It's a fully grown seed. You don't harvest ungrown seed. So you must stay in the rays of the sun in order for you to ripen. Are we together? Praise the Lord. Look at this simple scenario, friends. When we say Revelation 10, 10, and when you look at it from verse 1 to 6, that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My title, I think you know it. Uh, the bride has a ministry today. 
Just want to add a bit of flesh from yesterday uh, from Friday. So when you are looking at uh, Revelation 10, Revelation 10, Revelation 10 is divided into three parts. When you take it from verse 1 to 6, show it there, brother. Verse 1. I'm just looking at the highlights there. It speaks of a mighty angel. That mighty angel who comes down is the Lord Jesus Christ. It speaks of his clothing. So he's clothed in a cloud. So when you see the cloud today, you know it's there. The, 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 the clothing of the Lord Jesus Christ. So he comes out of the cloud. He comes out of the pillar of fire. Just like in the cave again. There was a man who was 230 pounds with wavy hair of olive skin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Who was barefooted. And he had a deep voice. And brother Branham, Branham says, Branham And out of the cloud, there came out a man. And he came walking towards me. So out of the cloud, who is in the cloud? Out of the pillar of fire, out of the light, who is in the light? The one who is in the light is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a housing for Jesus Christ. Because he mm. came out of the light. Mm. And when he came out of the light, mm. Brother Branham was not seeing a man. Mm. He was seeing a man mm. who was barefooted. Mm. Who walked towards him. Mm. Who understood his mission of mm. life. Mm. Praise the Lord. Lina, la morena, la gala, le Spiritual things are spiritually descend. Don't be children, saints. Come up a little bit higher. Let's talk about the affairs of your father. We're together. It's not just a pillar of fire to say I have a pillar of fire. God showed himself in a pillar of fire. Who was in the pillar of fire? Because you will not understand the tent vision. He says the angel of the Lord and that pillar of fire. There is a difference. Why is there a difference? The pillar of fire carries a man. And that man was saying, I will meet you in there. And it will be that third pool. Who was that man? It was the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Let's associate ourselves with that kind gentleman in the vision. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Are the Lord. we in church? Do we love this God? Amen. We are not doubters like the people who say uh, uh, it was a rocket that blew at Vandenberg Airport. Uh, we are not doubters like those people. Aeroplane, nothing was spoken to them. But what we know on that day, the skies were brassy. There were no planes. And something of God was happening. Hallelujah. Seven angels came down. And they met him there. And there was the seventh angel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With wings that were sharp pointing. And he looked at me with a difference. Who is that angel dealing with William Branham? Who is that angel? William Branham, never you drink, smoke, or defile your body with women. For I have a work for you when you get older. Who is that man who speaks out of the light? Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. Are we together? Please give him more water. It's dangerous stuff here. Praise the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> so they see this man. His face was at as it were the sun. And his feet as pillars of fire. Listen to this important verse. In his hand, he had a little book. And that little book was open. Friends, it's good to read from an open book. Read from an open book. When Jesus Christ is coming down, he has a, 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 a book in his right hand. But that little book is open. And that little book is handed down to Revelation 10.7. Are we together? But that same little book again, we are going to see it again. I'll make an emphasis on that. Eh? Look at his characteristic. On the sea, he's putting his foot. On the earth, he's putting his foot. He says, the happening of these things. When you see Jesus like this, when you see him in this form, he has a rent head to heaven. He says, time shall be no more. At the time of the happening of those things, then there is no continuity. What is the seventh seal? It's the end of time. It's the end of the economy. It's the end of all politics. This is everything, every bit ends. It's grinding to a halt. Even the best of politicians they cannot manage it because it's the end of time. Everything comes to an end. When you agree how do you that the seventh seal is open, then look for trouble because the economy is grinding to a hold. It was a big giant, but it's going. And everybody is saying, This presidents they can't rule. But These ministers they can't rule. How do you rule something <coughs> that is inspired to come to an end? You can't do anything. Because it is not you who has said it. Look at the kind of exodus we have had from Zimbabwe. Until a population of over 4 million has gone into the region. People running away from their homes. Thinking the grass is greener somewhere. But every other place is hit by the promises of the hour. If you are not experiencing it here, it's coming because it was spoken by the voice of the Lord. By a man who said, I am the voice of God to you. He says, At the time of these things, 
He has raised up his hand to heaven. He says, time shall be no more. We are in industry because of time. We are in production because of time. We are in politics because of time. We are in social life because of time. And look at the seven visions. The, the prophet sees. He says, I'm beginning to point you out to the things that will happen. I'm giving you pointers to the end. He says, Jesus and his church. And his church. He gave them pointers. He gave them pointers of the church. He gave them pointers of what would happen. Nations rising against nations. That stone of the temple being raised down. He gave them pointers so that they would know where they would be at. And God gives him the seven visions to say, here are the seven steps to the end. Are we together? So as you are looking at the seven steps, you must know where you are at. Because those are the seven visions. And after them, the end of the world has come. And what was the seventh vision? America was like debris. What? Russia. Watch Russia. Russia. The king of the north. But in it also that vision. It had social living. The fifth vision. It had to deal with the social fabric. People losing their customs. I hope they are getting it brother. Praise the Lord. Amen. But these are pointers. Just like Daniel. He was shown the four kingdoms of the Gentiles. He says these people that you see who are not Jews they only move in four steps. Praise the Lord. Are we together? Is the heart okay? Yes. Yeah? The heart is okay? It's fine. Fine. I don't want to kill a little boy in practice. I got to The mother will blame me so much. My son is dead. Is the heart okay? I want to live in my life. So I give him a breather like this. <laughs> Take it up an octave higher again. Yeah. Do you see it? Then after that, seven thunders uttered their voices. And Abraham says, thunders carried the seven seals. Just like the cloud carried the Lord Jesus Christ. Just like the pillar of fire carried the Lord Jesus Christ. Those thunders carried the seven seas. So out of the thunders, then there comes out a message. Because he had had seven banks. Praise the Lord. Are we together? Mm -hmm. And here is something that happens here. When you read John, you are reading the bride. Are we together? So in the book of Revelation, John is a representation of you. When you look at it in Revelation 19, he tried to worship that angel who was showing him these things. And that man denied. Don't do that, John. I'm of your fellow brothers, the prophets. 
Worship God. The monumental work. This angel has come to show us. Does not result in us worshiping the angel of our time. We don't worship William Branham. We worship God. We worship the God he has pointed us to. Can somebody say amen this afternoon? Amen. We have one God but Christ. The prophets are messengers of God. But the individual has a tendency to worshiping men. The reason why they are Gentiles. They don't know a difference between God and men. Anything that looks godly, they want to worship. They it. did it to Paul. And Paul came in and cried out. What is wrong with you guys? Worship God. Don't worship a prophet. Worship God. The God of that prophet. The God that William Branham has introduced us to. It's the same God that we do worship. And those guys, they rose up. And they said, Brother Branham, you are Christ. You are just being humble. You are Christ. And he comes to the church. He says, you people, don't make me an antichrist. To be equal to my maker. To be equal to my God. He says, I'll quit ministry. And the blood of these people will be upon your hands. This is how William Branham took it. And if you want to worship William Branham, you are doing the wrong thing. Worship the God he has pointed you. You are just showing you don't understand this message. Read the spoken word with an understanding. This bench, can I have a big amen here? Yeah? You are like a mock, guys. What's wrong? Take away those masks and say amen. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Don't look at me as if I'm Michael Jackson performing. Let's go and tell me like Michael Jackson has been. Oh, glory. Praise the Lord. Are we together there? And that angel. Look, John calls him an angel. But in actual fact, that's Jesus Christ. You must understand the language of the Bible. When the Bible speaks, you must understand what it is meaning. Because if you have just a scholarly argument with people, they will tell you the Bible is just saying an angel. Then you have to be preached to a message of angels so that you can understand who are angels. Because you have seven ministering spirits again. And people have said the first one is Paul. But the second one is, is Irenaeus. The last one is William Branham. No! no! You must understand the language oh, of the Bible. Bible. Don't, put in Don't put in your own things. Speak together with the Bible. Praise the Lord. Seal up those things which the seven thunders And write them not. Huh? Yeah. But this man, he, he ends up with a swearing. He says, time shall be no more. 
But look at that man coming down. Whom John is seeing. He finds on earth. There is a natural angel. And if you look at your spoken word correctly, how about a spoken word simply? It starts with an, a small letter A. Meaning an earthly angel. But when you look at this one from the spoken word, it starts with a capital letter A. Meaning a heavenly angel. So there are two different angels here. As he comes on earth, he must fulfill Amos 3. For God will not do anything by himself unless he reveals his secrets to his prophets. What happened in the book of Exodus? When people they were arguing, you are too much. How come you are the only one who speaks? Every day it has to be Moses. 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 Until the Bible says, and Moses was read. And there are those two guys. And the other Israelites. They said, Moses, you are too much. You are the tribe from the tribe of Levi. We also come from the same tribe. You are just our brother. We know you. What is the problem with you? And Moses says this argument. I cannot take it. I can't answer you properly. Let us go back to the one who has set the temple and hear what he will say. So Moses went up the mountain. Are we together? And when he went there, he rehearsed it to the Lord. And the Lord says, Fine, if they want to hear me talk to them, that's very important. Go down to them. Ask them to prepare themselves. Ask them to wash their garments. Ask them to stay away from their women on a certain appointed date then I'm going to meet them I want to talk to them and Moses came down and relayed it to the people and the people were so happy they said finally we are going to have a participation not Moses alone but ourselves as a church this one will come with a message this one will come also with a message and not only to wait on Moses after all his tamas, they will have people who are eloquent, like Brother Tatan, Brother Cora. They can say it better. They have a better education, better theology. And Moses says, Fine. And God, on the appointed day, He comes to the mountain. And what happens? And those who were close to the fence here, before taking a breath, and the earth opened up. And there was smoke all over. <laughs> and the Until they gathered together and said, Moses, is this the kind of experience you face? We thought it was a joke. Very sorry, Moses, for what we were doing. Yes. We are now telling you what is going to happen. From our midst, we can't speak to, to God as the general people. You are the one who is appointed. 
go up the mountain and hear from your God. When you come down, we will believe you. If there is anybody among us who does not believe that, who stones him with stones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God rehearsed it to God. Uh, Moses rehearsed it to God. And God said, They have said the right thing. That's the way I want to operate. And Amos 3 7 was then written. And the Lord God doeth nothing upon the earth unless he revealeth his secret to his prophets. It's because of that precedent. Are we together? So, when God wants to speak to people, He speaks through a prophet. Are we together? The reason why we are speaking of Revelation 107. He is an earthly messenger. But at the time of the coming of this great angel, there is an earthly messenger upon the earth. That earthly messenger is Malachi 4. Behold, I send you Elijah the prophet before the great and dreadful day of the Lord. He was to do two things and the message of Revelation 10, 7 and Malachi 4 is to do two things. One, according to Malachi, restore all things. Restore the altar. Restore marriage and divorce. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Restore baptism. Restore the way of worship. The altar was not in place. Every time Elijah comes, there is a restoration of the altar. Elijah comes again. And he has to restore the altar. So that the fire of God can fall. So that he can stand and say, I've done this according to your word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Elijah, Elijah is preaching to a Mary who says, Be done to me according to your word. She does not doubt the message. Hallelujah of Gabriel. Hallelujah. Glory. So he is to do two things. Brothers, most of you have come here for employment. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. When you have chosen to be employed, you are given what we call a contract of employment. You must know your contract very well. If you begin to fidget around your contract, work will be terminated. So your goals must be in line with your contract. When they took you for job, what did they see? That is what you must do. When you get to work every day. But if you begin to gallivant. And you begin to do other people's jobs. Then your portfolio will be found and abandoned. And what do they do? They look for another individual. Pentecostals started to gallivant around work. Started to leave their own contract. And God deposed them. Lutherans started to gallivant around work. And God looked at it. And their contract was rejected. Hallelujah. The Wesleyans they started to do the same. And where are they at today? Where is God working? In the message of the hour. In the church of the hour. In the bride of the hour. He is also looking at their behavior. But he has already said. Through his messenger. The agnostics. Those who say there is no God. 
Those are the agnostics. The agnostics and the shallow minded will be done away with. Praise the Lord. Which means this message is not shallow. It's a come up higher message. We have a level where we must hit. We must go to that level. But if you remain shallow minded, Telling the people every day Jesus is Lord who does not know that. Jesus is the Son of God who does not know that. We know that. We want the business of the day. Are we together? So on earth, as this heavenly messenger is coming, there is also an earthly message. In our country, we've got a man we call the president. Before, he gets to a place, there is what we call an advanced party. Those guys, they put on suits. And some dark spectacles. When they come in an area, they, they, they want to have a feel of the thinking of the people. And in their armpits, there will be guns. In their armpits again, there will be walkie talkies. In their pockets, there will be recorders to investigate the situation. What is happening here? Is the president not going to be assassinated? What is the thinking of the people? Then others say, Ah, not away with that Zanupiev. They write. Knows. When the president comes, he must address on the relevance of the party. This is the language they are speaking. They are saying away with Zanupiev. Let him come with seeds from there and other benefits so that the mentality of these people can be changed. When he comes there, he says, I love you so much, you people. The rain season is coming. I've brought you this. I've brought you this. I've brought you this. And I'm going to do this. And I do this for you. People, you relate. But the bottom line is, what is an Are we together? But who has given them that intelligence? It's the advanced party. When God is coming down on earth, they are his people. There is an earthly messenger who is there. At the time of his coming, it's the time of the seventh pyramid. It's the time of the seventh stage. And when God is coming, he comes to that person and he says, and all of a sudden, I was surrounded by seven angels. When I could count them from my left to my right, there were seven angels. And there was the one who was in the seventh position with pointed out wings and he looked to me than more uh, more than the, these other angels are we together he says and I was caught up and there was a blast there was a blast 
What is the blast? It's the speech of God. It happened there on the mountain. There was a blast. In other words, God was speaking. When he says, Thou shalt not have another God besides me. Love your brother. Love yourself as your neighbor. Others were hearing the thundering. But Moses was putting down the laws of God. He's got an ear of God. He can hear the speech of God. He can hear the thundering of God. And Moses is an, he's an agent of God. In our day again, God has given us our Moses. Because when you want to look at a king, you look, look at David. When you want to look at prophets, Hallelujah. you look at Moses. When you want to look at priests, you look at Aaron. God has his types. And this is what he has done in our time. He says I was doing it for the Jews. I must do it also for you guys. There must be a testimony. Praise the Lord. And this man is given a debt to go and unravel these things. Go back to Jeffersonville and open the mystery of the seven seals. When you see the seven seals being opened, that is the time when Christ has come down with his hand raised up to heaven others saw a cloud but we have seen Christ hallelujah, hallelujah. others saw a cloud 35 miles wide 27 miles high but we have seen Christ. Christ has come down to his angel in this end time. And that man had a message of jubilee and according to the laws of Israel. If you were found wanting, you borrowed something that you could not return. You were supposed to return it. But if you failed now, there were laws in Israel. You were supposed to be taken captive by the men you have borrowed. And you would stay there not forever but for a given number of days in this case it was seven years At every seven years there would be a sweet release those who were taken captive they were supposed to be released and in our time again what we have seen in Israel has happened in our time we have climbed seven steps and we are on the seventh step we are in the year of release the Bible became an open book others Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They fathomed at the mystery. They had combined arguments on things. But this one spoke as the oracles of God. It was the seventh release. And a priest would be sent with a trumpet. The seventh gospel trumpet has been sent in our time. And it was blowing right around the cities. If you overborrowed anything, don't worry. Seven years have come to an end. Wherever you are in your field, leave whatever the implement you are using. It's the year of Jubilee. It's the year of sweet release. 
You must leave your denominationalism. You must leave your dogmas. You must leave your unbeliefs. You must leave everything. Because a message has come. It's being heralded by a priest. A priest has come with a sure message. Revelation 18:7. 18, 18, come out of them, my people. And the wife of the prophet got inspired. As she was singing with her friends. She started to see. People from everywhere. You see it as he was preaching. What was the attraction on the mountain? These people come from Banco. From Maine. From everywhere. What are they coming for? To feast with the king. To dine as his guest. How blessed these pilgrims are. Praise the Lord. Oh my God. If I die on this pulpit, you know my address. Just take me home. Don't worry, there are Zimbabweans here. They know our custom, what we do. But we must die preaching this message. So, there was an, a, a seventh angel. That seventh angel, now, he was a one man ministry. And we Amen. built our appetites around that man. Oh, I'm gonna bring him. My, 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 my. That man. Muna oh. When he takes your hand. Ha, ha. Taking your little arm. My, 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 my. Ah, mutimo am. Something right here. Sengwe hela. If you have a germ disease, that's all. Ha na le boloti hela. Jobo ba ko anke mo harimu mo. Oh. It's electric. Iki temo takasi. Six years after that. Mura adi mo hatetaro. Then this man. See somebody coming. As they are coming, he begins to see his past. He says it was there in Calgary, Virginia. Go, Virginia. And it happened like that. He says, What is happening? Here? Even he himself, on the junctions of time, he failed also to quite understand. Had it not been God who said, You have enough move from the first pool to the second pool. He did not go to church and say, read yourselves, church. We are now in the second pool today. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He did not say that. How is that we say? But he saw signs uh -huh. of the gospel he was preaching uh -huh. beginning to change in the lives of the people uh -huh. and in his ministry as well uh -huh. because he had been told uh -huh. if you will be sincere, uh -huh then this, this will happen. He started to see that which was in the bedrock hearts of the people. Can somebody say amen? Are we together? That was our prophet. And for nine years, the man carried that ministry. Everybody loved him. Deben, South Africa. 50,000 apiece in seven days. Rhodesia. Rhodesia. A lot of numbers. They gathered around this gift. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! What was that? It was the attraction upon the mountain. Causing a gathering. Causing a coming together. He's a man with a shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To bring them out of denominations. In response to Revelation 18. Because he was that angel. Come out of them systems. Even today. There is a lot that is called the message when it is not the message. You must take introspection. This which I'm running with, is it the message? 
not what your pastor believes it must be the message of William Branham. Behold, I send you Elijah the prophet before the great and dreadful day of the Lord and to carry a restoration message. Take it back to the original plans. This house must be built according to plans. You don't put on your own ideas. You don't put on an unqualified architect to try and interpret a building. Otherwise, it will fall on people. The men also who stands there must be called of the Lord. It's not an ability to read. It's not an ability to write. You end up taking people into strange doctrines. Like the sons of Aaron again. Which will result in a cow religion. I feel like preaching. You better say amen this morning. Did not say it right. How I was sent. When you gave that time, I don't think it was the Lord. I give to me Lord in El Mudim. Think about it, Pastor. God bless you. Amen of God. Praise the Lord. I will not be very long. But listen to the things. That I if I end there, then go and fellowship those things with your family. Are we together? Praise the Lord. The mystery of God is about to be finished. So God begins to work with the laws of our in that prophet. He says you are sent to, a, to, 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 to an age, to a generation. The reason why there are messianic signs we in the fivefold ministry we don't imitate if you see somebody imitating a messianic sign he's just trying to imitate a message I've seen it in Zimbabwe tell guys tell guys we are in an exam and he's used to copying this is where I've written my name, Clement Komich. He also writes at the top, Clement Komich. Clement Komich, And in the end, teachers say you have not written an exam. I'm seeing two papers written by one student. What is happening? Then, without knowing, I'm called for interrogation. How come you have written two papers? Where are you writing for this guy? Somebody was asked, Why are you copying? He says, I'm not copying. I'm comparing. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You are such a wonderful church. Can I say a little bit more, friends? Can I say a little bit more? Can I see your hands? God bless you. You don't lie in church. Do you know that? The angel of the Lord will slay you. Praise the Lord. <coughs> So he became this man. Deb in South Africa. 
People had to move from Rhodesia. Going by trains. To look at the ministry. And there were great people in South Africa. Reverend Bengo for Assemblies of God. He was one of the people. Who are supporting those 1951 ministers? Uh, meetings. And quite a number of ministers. And Reverend Bengo loved the way God was using his servant, William Branham. And the message is started to go into the region through the vehicle of assemblies of God. So they would just deposit spoken words and deposit spoken words. And among some of these people was Godwin Chitzinde message. Godwin Chitzinde. And he begins to say, huh? What are these things? 1968. 1968. Chiminya in Zishavani. Has heard about it. And he's doing his first tent in Mashingo. And and God sends in our region. In our country. By the name, a man by the name Warilo. Warilo. Walio. Whatever. <laughs> and young people started to be interested. The Pentecostal era of those children attending to meetings. What are the, what those meetings called? The youth in schools, you, you, you did it not happen. Tell me, I've just forgotten. Auction floor. No. SU, SU scripture unions. Scripture union. Eh. Did you not see them? Hala dibona. You were so much in be in the beer hall, isn't it? Nele nele kodi baring hela. All days you are you are asking was there ever, there ever oh. a scripture union? Lele ba holo lele kan la butor na ona scripture union. Sure, the grace of God is important. Eliruri mo hawa muti mo botlok. Praise the Lord. Li na la Jehovah la khalale itswe. And in schools, quite calling. The message started to penetrate. Mo la itswe as mo la hotsen. Harare high in Zimbabwe. Young stars started to erupt. The likes of G. Tutani. G. Tutani. And other characters that I may not want to mention because you may not want to hear about them. But they were there. Yeah, of course, the likes of Chatima. The likes of Innocent Gumbura. They were there in that school. They were form sixes. I'm not talking about their teaching. I'm talking about what happened in 1968. People want to divert history because uh, you know, somebody went, went wrong. That's not what we are talking about. Then they were having a prayer meeting. And some teacher said, you guys, in the way you are sincere, I know of one guy who can teach you something. And who comes there? Godwin Chitzinde. Godwin Chitzinde. He comes to preach there. He baptizes the, uh, the a crop there. Something is happening in Gweru. Certain teachers, certain guys are also receiving the message. 
And you know the likes of Bothwell Chikosi were there. Like them or not, they were there. Jeremiah Mukanganwe. Jeremiah Mukanganwe. They were there. In the 1978 crop. Momona Konya 1978. Do you see that the word is a seed? It spreads. In other words, we are products of a Pentecostal guy. <laughs> He's the one who sent books. This is why we are there. Divilia But when you are seeing 1978, you can't forget those big guys. Huh? Huh? Matanga. Matanga. Those guys, they were there. Now old guys over 60 years now. now yeah. they, they were the, the, the products of that revival. Yeah. Chesa. Chesa. Products of that revival. Daniel Mabugu. Daniel Mabugu. And quite a number of them. They come as little boys also into but the message. After them, then there comes us now. Praise the Lord. I'm battling for time. The things I'm trying to say, I'm going to say them without moving. So that, you know, Ten minutes, I can just throw what I want to throw. You are a wonderful church. I have Any book is a conclusion. So when I'm concluding, don't sleep. Let's go you will know, not know how the story ended. No, we had a guy who was writing. You know? In Shona, he was trying to put a bit of English. He says, we were walking in Dogali and not in Emali. In Shongability. <laughs> so when you look at the seven seal book, how the Bella Buka yard can cannot the super. It's a book of when you talk of redemption you look at the story of Boaz and Ruth it's all that simple it's just taking you back from where you were fallen back to your inheritance Back to the Garden of Eden. Are we together? When you say the Garden of Eden, Adam would speak. Adam and things would happen. Dilo That is the title deed that was lost. And God was saying. I want to take men back to there. Again. Christ is the mystery of God revealed. The prophet says God had a threefold. Purpose. Number one, to reveal himself in his people. So from the Garden of Eden, every prophet who was sent, God was trying to reveal himself. 
So he's been describing himself, describing and himself. And say, I close, I close, I Do you know you don't take a whip to say, I'm ma, I'm your ma? Why is it out there? Tobane, Kota Tubore, Kemma, Kemma. Yeah. Your expressions. Did to put a haro. Your love. Lurato, Lara. Makes this little girl. Lutter, Mosetayana. Have it revealed to her. To say there are so many women under the sun. But this one is different. When I'm beaten at school, she comes and says, Daughter, don't worry. You developed wounds. Don't worry. I'll sort that out. You look so tired. Don't you want to sleep? There's one woman who does that. Others are so rough. But this woman with a sweet voice. I so much love her. Until a little child, when she cries, she says, Ma. No one cries saying, Baba. No. Baba. Baba is an evil guy. Baba I hear what were you doing at school? My child. Doing like this. Go by the peach tree. Fast. Come on. <laughs> Tell me how many you want. We don't do that. We represent our name correct. Hey, hey, hey. The man takes, okay. Don't worry, son. That's your father. It's okay. Just be a good boy tomorrow. You follow what I'm saying. Do you need some drink? How about the drink? It's revealed to you. This is my man. And God had a threefold purpose. Number one was to reveal himself. When they were hungry, he supplied food. When they were beaten by serpents, Hallelujah! He hung on a pole and healed them. When the Red Sea was before them, he opened it for them. Whatever they needed, he was there. At one time, it was so hot, he became, a, he became the cloud to hide away the effects of the sun. When they need a direction, a guide, at night, he became the pillar of fire. And through your prophet, he preaches the message leadership. He says, when you are born in this life, you are received by certain hands. And those hands that received you were the hands of the midwife. And they may be still in some mortuary today. Praise the Lord. Just persevere faster so that you know we finish. Yeah. And also say it loud so that they hear. Amen. Praise the Lord. Do you want water? No, Just drink before we knock it out. I drink. <laughs> Are we okay? Yeah, Did we're fine. Okay. Praise the Lord. Yeah. At least you are written in the Bible. You know, we are part of the people who are written in the Bible. I'm also written. Clement. Clement is written in the Bible. 
Samuel. Samuel is written written in the Bible. But there are people who need grace, like Bonwell. There's nothing like that in the Bible. <laughs> These Gentiles. Hey, but it's a babana. Praise the Lord. Are we together? So the ministry of Revelation 10:7 comes to an end. It's not a perpetual ministry. God was just showing something. Revealing himself. Are we together? Number two. He wanted to have preeminence. Hallelujah. Are we together? He must be your ruler. When you have an ambition. How, 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 how do you measure that ambition? Do you not come to church because you have been promoted? Again. Wrong ambition. It's, it's not the of the Lord. Huh? Huh? Every decision that you make, your diet is regulated by the one who has preeminence in your life. Are we together? And he says we stay in a three-room house. He says in your kitchen. kitchen. That's where you prepare your food. In, in your sitting room. That's where you discuss things with your family. In your bedroom chamber. He says God wants to have control. He, you are also built in a three-roomed house. Your outer court. Your outer court. Your inner court. And the inside of the inside. And Christ, when he was coming, his first doctrine was you must be born again. In other words, change your birth. Change your configuration. Have to have preeminence in your life. It happened to Paul. He says, Paul, a prisoner of Jesus Christ. He says, My feet are bound. They cannot dance to the world of the things of the world. He says, My eyes are bound. They cannot see the things of the world. My appetite is bound. So people when they are coming to God they remain short of Pentecost and they start to hybrid being in the message of the hour and they become everything they are not regulated by a controlling power when it is management you have your planning you have your leading you have your organizing you have your controlling what are you doing when you are controlling guys what was our vision what were we there to do are we still moving in line in the accounting office are we still moving in line in the production office are we still moving in line in the sales office are we still moving towards our vision the top guy there he leads the ship. He says, let's go towards this direction. Let's go towards this direction. And this is what God wants to do. This is why he must deposit the Holy Ghost in you. But people come into this message and remain themselves. And show their nature. It's not your nature that we want. It's the nature of God that we want in your life. What were you? Who are you in this time? Is there a change? It's not just holding the spoken word. It's living the life. It's having Christ. Having preeminence in your life. You 
don't join in this message. There must be a new path. Even Israel. Israel before they got into the promised land. Numbers 21. They are to have a new path. There was a deadly monster. Which was the serpent. A semblance of sin. A semblance of sin. And it would bite this brother. It would bite that brother. And God says, I've got an antidote. The serpent. Serpent. Present serpent. Speaking of sin being judged. And when we are Israel. And you look at that. It means your sin will be cured. Look at Jesus Christ so that your sin can be cured. Don't join this message. You end up with various doctrines, various isms, various ways of life. But have the life of Jesus Christ be resident in your life so that you can go to the next stage. Are we together? Huh? The next stage is God taking you back to the garden of God. Are we together? And look at this man. Who is this angel? God worked on him so much until he became so complete. God had to beat him around when he disobeyed. He sent to preach to a place. He sent to preach a place. He listens to his mother-in-law and God says here we don't deal with that. Beat him so much. Beat him so much. Until he comes to church. He tells his life story. And he begins to sob to cry. God said, I'm working out something in you. Are we together? But one day, he's in a mountain. He's hunting together with his brothers. And on that day, it was focused a big blizzard that was going to come and he was there with a lot of brothers and all of a sudden it started to be windy he says brothers listen to what I'm telling you go back to the camp run as soon as possible because in five minutes you will not see your hand if you refute your guide, then you walk in darkness. Are we together, brothers? And what happened? This man remains there. Everyone else was in the camp. And he sees the way the trees are waved. He sees the way the branches are breaking. And heavy drops of rain started to come and blizzard coldness that has become like mist started to come down and William Branham felt eh? it's now dangerous I'm an old man let me try and also go to the camp when he was just finishing the mountain a hand touched him. and the hand spoke he took off his hat and it said go back to the top of the mountain where you have come from he says I've learned to obey that voice how has he learned to obey by the things he suffered by the whips of God in his life to try and line him up. Are we together? So that he can get to the third position. Whereby he can speak 
and things can happen and he goes grudgingly he says with all this danger I've learned to obey this voice. And he goes to the top of the mountain. When he was there, God did not immediately speak. He keeps quiet. He keeps quiet. quiet. For about 30 45 minutes. Don't think the blizzard has stopped. Some of the branches were falling on him as he was standing there. He had been taught to obey by God. When God has said anything, you must obey. Are we together? He told him in one place. He says to walk with me. You must walk alone. It mean, doesn't mean isolation from people. But your mind must be isolated from the things of the world. Hallelujah. That's where most of the message people fail us. Most of the people who have come into this message they fail us. Listen, why they don't want to move forward? Because their lives have been stagnant. At one place, at one position, they can't move. Praise the Lord. You just look at them. They don't pay tithes. It means they can't give their heart. Simple. Natural and spiritual. But they want to come to church. Of course, when you die, we bury you. We say good sentiments. But in the bottom of our hearts, we know you were unbelieving. It's three kinds of believers in a group. Which kind of believer are you? Because there is now a great end where we must get it. The operation of that third pool and God says you can speak to the blizzard he says what an opportunity that God has given me to talk to this blizzard hallelujah Amen. And he says blizzard I resent you in the name of the Lord yeah, Jesus Go back to where you have come from. And in four minutes, me and my friends, we must hunt in full sun. He says, a wind from the other direction. To the natural person, to the journalist who is writing about that, they think it was a natural wind. But in the spirit, somebody spoke. In the secret, somebody has spoken and when God speaks then situations reverse and when God speaks then things that are hard they move away because the God of heaven has spoken praise the Lord and there was a wind that started to blow opposite to that and took away the wind. In four minutes, as the prophet was still crying, he heard the, 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 the leaves going pata, pata. He says the leaves were already dry. In four minutes, there was full sun. Are we together? These were the works done by Revelation 10. Seven. This was the works done by one man. He says it's a one man ministry. But we must come to a time when it must be a many membered body. It must be the greater works again. Glory. Glory to God. So, as he's doing that, he's doing it to tell you, he's doing it to show you that 
which I'm doing as William Branham. I'm not just doing it for myself. I'm your messenger. I'm your prophet. I'm teaching you how to do things. So that when I'm gone. You can do it also yourself. Don't remain dead. Don't remain dormant. There is a power this message is building in your life. And you must come to that third position. That third position is you also speaking like your prophet. Are we together? But if you don't know that, how say it is you? You just say, oh, great people have died. Oh, but Even Branham Tabernacle. They denied. They say, this great man. Can he die? Six months before burial. Denial of a situation. Allow God to have his own way. And we have seen it as pastors. Somebody dies in the family. The wife does not accept it. And she remains so affected until she contracts sugar diabetes herself. Failing to agree with the situation. Is it not in the word of God that one by one we should gain our portals? There to dwell with the immortals. And that's the same thing in the message. This same wife of the Lord Jesus Christ, God now wants to deal with her. But every time she's saying, Brother Branham. Branham. Brother Branham. Branham. And there is one problem that is in people. He says it's easy for them to accept what happened yesterday. It's easy for them to talk of what will happen tomorrow. But it's very difficult for them to say God is working through Brother Sam. We see God in this man. Now they don't want that. Even when we pray, when we say, God, you worked so hard with Moses, in the whole church you'll be hearing, Amen. Amen. You worked so hard with William Branham. William Branham. Amen. 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 You worked so hard with William, with Brother Neville. Brother Neville. Amen. 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 You also work so hard with Brother Sam. Mm. Mm. Move out of your cocoon. Move out of your unbelief. God is working present today. In the brother or sister next to you. God wants to manifest himself. It's manifesting time. The fruits are on the vine. See this loved one in place for you. Jesus Christ again. Performing the same works. In his pride. Not the pastor. But Jesus Christ. Not your preacher. But Jesus Christ. It's now a personal relationship between you and your God. Reason why he preached in visible union. It's you getting married to Jesus Christ. Not you with a group. It's an individual walk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the lion in you roar. Let the Jesus you have had always let him start to manifest himself. This is the time. Are you denying But if you are denying that, how can we move forward? Honestly, how can we move forward? If the CEO says we are going this direction, and everybody denies change, how we were getting. 200 liters per, per, per week. Ah, of of the CEO says we now cut down to 50. Ah, no, 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 no. It's too, it's too difficult for us. We still want our 200 liters. But why is he cutting back? In order for that organization to be profitable. 
so that it can give new packs. But if you continue eating on that, then doors will be closed. You must see the way the tempo of the organization Don't resist it. Also, this message it was working monumentally in Brother Branham. Look at the Hatterite story. As he was talking, he says, I was handing them and there was no game on that day. But I also had one scripture that I did not understand. Then God came to Kalahai. my rescue. He says, that scripture is like every other scripture. He says, I believed the Bible, but I failed to fathom that scripture. He says, let's try it. Do you want gum? He says, yes. Where do you want it to be? As he points, there is the squirrel. Without another, without beginning of days, you speak things into existence. He says, I want to shoot it. You know, he was unique. He wanted to shoot by the eye. He guns it down. Brothers, it has to be the message not just to say we went to church we went to church it has to be the message are we together praise the Lord that third position needs a lot of discipline because that's where the ministry of the bride is are we together that's where she must she operates from the third position. And that third position is not the second pool. Prophecy, discernment, it's not the first pool. Healing, it was good. But he had to die to this one in order to get into this one. He must also die from this one in order to get into this one. I'm saying great things. Some may not like it. But the truth remains the truth. Are we together? And he picks up the three squirrels. He goes among men. He says, brothers, I was there in the bush. And here is this that happened. The first time to hear a man speak squirrels into existence. Tony Zabel, when he rose up, Tony Adams, he, he says, Lord, we thank you for Brother Branham. But for us to believe that this which he has said is the word of God, you who was, was working with him, that those squirrels were there. We, we must go, go and find the other squirrels that that we didn't we didn't And he said, said Amen. A deacon in church. He says, Brother Tony. I never said that when we go there we'll find it. But even still, God can still can put it there. Are we together? It became so difficult. But in those difficult moments, here is some woman who was not known by riches, who was not known by staying in religion, who was not known by eating three meals. Hit it right! Hit it right! A woman, what right, Mosia? And about 200 US dollars. But the things of the world were away from him. From her. And she heard the conversation. And she said, These brothers seem to fail. I was batting now. And she says, Brother Branham, that's nothing but the truth. And the Spirit of God liked it so much. And said, Ask her. Let's move into that position, brothers. That's the third position. 
But people are denying everything. They don't want to move into that church. When we talk it like this, they think we are deposing Brother Branham. But we are telling you his message, what he has said. You and I, let's move into that third position. We must speak and things must happen. We must speak and missing limbs must be restored. Amen. Let's close with this. 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 Let's close this is what we read in Revelation 10. It's a scripture after, after 1965. This one. Because God has finished with Revelation 10. But he says, can this revival end? He was saying, I'll ride on this trail once again. It doesn't mean him coming down. It's God in man. God in his people. A super sign. Until the prophet of God had to preach the message. Super sign. Are we together? That woman is asked to go take the book. Asked to go take the book. From the angel. The scripture says, Who standeth upon the sea? And the earth. Was that William Branham? No. William Branham. No. It's the same verse in verse two. But well, who did we see in verse two? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So where is this message coming from? It's not coming from the Branham family. It's coming from God. William Branham said, "I'm the voice of God." William Branham. If I give you a voice, it doesn't mean it's me. You are me. You just get out what I've said. Do you agree? The postman is not the one writing you the letter. At times it's another good boy writing, quoting you, and you say, ah, this postman with shoes tattered, I don't think I can fathom that. Praise the Lord. Oh, those are signs to show that I've taken longer than what you want. Oh, can you support who wants our rickets there? Now go tell you. That's fine. I'm just closing. Who's here? Kya kya tsalanya? We live in uh, certain places of geography. We are different, isn't it? Red sela mama mahatsing a harlohane harotswane aker. But you tswanas don't live as I'm talking to you. Luna matswane siska lata mahaja ke kibu alone. That woman goes to take the book from the hand of one who was putting his foot on the sea and on the earth. Who is that? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. We did not get this message from William Branham as an individual. We got it from God. Are we together, brothers? And he says, when you eat it, your belly will be bitter. But in your mouth, it will be sweet. And he says in verse 11, you must prophesy to peoples multitudes nations kings people have a tendency to testify to their manager uh, to, 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 to their subordinates 
but they don't testify to their manager. This message is meant for those people. Your CEO. Give him the spoken word. Say, listen to this. Let him listen to it. If he's got a soul, he'll come and sit also together with you. He's a son of God also. And who must preach to him? This little girl seated here. This little boy seated here. He's got a ministry. She's got a ministry. But when you say ministry, you also move in three stages. Brother Branham, first pool, second pool, third pool. If you've got a ministry also, you reach a point. You must be in the third position. Are we together? So she takes a book. But people are lost today now. They don't want to depart from this thing. They say, Brother Branham, Brother Branham. Brother Branham, Brother Branham. They want to take him in as an individual. Until some even decide to stay home. To say, now we go tape. Lack of revelation. They don't know the music of the symphony. Take that message that is in that tape. And begin to speak. You are in that third position. Am I saying something sensible? It will be more sensible. Ah, ah, I now listen to the tape only. Were you not listening to the tape before? You are an unbeliever. The tape we have been listening it. Way back when we came into this message, we were still listening to the tape. And we are still listening to the tape. And that tape is producing these messages that we are now preaching to you. You don't need to say, I'm staying home. I'm listening to the tape. Every religion must have a priest. Jeroboam started his own religion and he did it without the prescribed priest. Then he had to take weak people to, to become priests. And what did it produce? A golden calf religion. They are your gods! In Ephraim. They are your gods! In Dan. You are going without the fool. Are we together? But in this time, this bride must be so much better to be going into that. Let me just close by one more questions. When God wants to do something with you, brother, inspiration begins to move. Look at Branham Tabernacle. Junior Jackson comes and says, Junior Jackson, what about Brother Branham? I had a dream. Brother Bila. Brother Bila. Bila. Brother Branham. Mugala Branham. I can't even wait. I must talk to you. I had a dream. Roy Robertson. Roy Robertson. Brother Branham. Mugala Branham. I dreamed we were heading cattle. We were taking them to the place of belly deep grass. 
Sister Collins. Sister Collins. Elijah the prophet is going to speak. Elijah the prophet is going to speak. And people ignored. And Brother Collins. Collins. They went at Blue Bow. To eat. Blue Bow. To eat. Hoja. Ignoring the message that Bye. was Katolosa. going to be saved in church. Brother Parnell. Brother from Lafayette. Lafayette. I had a dream. On a Sister Steffi. I had a dream. On a and Brother Branham kept saying this thing that he wants to get into is not getting into it alone in the church the effects of the message he preached started to make itself manifest they came into the same trajectory this one is in the spiritual mode. This one in the spiritual mode. This one in the spiritual mode. Same will not enter it alone. As he's saying, let's go, brothers. Things begin to happen in your meetings. Do you follow it? But things don't happen when you are not praying for them. Things don't happen when you are not expecting them. We have the three times dispensations of prayer that we have. He says at 9 o'clock. He says at 12 o'clock. He says at 3 in the morning. That's when I meet the angel of the Lord usually. And people are not praying in those times. How can spiritual things come when people are not set for those things to happen? But brother, you are not getting ready doesn't mean the events of God don't get ready. How is it going Right now, we are waiting for that great war, Armageddon. Not to happen in Ukraine. It happens at the foot of Jerusalem. And what does Putin begin to say? He says, we begin to look at, at Israel now. When he begins to talk like that, we see it's beginning to build up. Are we together? People said, watch Russia. Watch watch Russia. 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 They are now fighting together with the United States. States. As they are fighting a proxy war. Uh, How about the Vietnam War? It was still Russia and the Americans. How about in Afghanistan? How about in Syria? It was still a combination of those powers. But when they get to Israel. Go Israel. Watch Armageddon coming. That's when the squeeze comes. And when we say squeeze, we are now in the message, look away to Jesus. He says, this great power has now been made known in your image. He says, and you know it. It is the third pool. He says, you have seen it. But it will not be made manifest in a great way until the time of the squeeze. Brother Branham dies in 1965 and the squeeze has not come. So, who is going to make manifest the squeeze? Because in the squeeze, you can't buy, you can't sell. It's a miniature uh, tribulation. You can't buy, you can't sell. And you can see it by this uh, COVID thing that they are doing. For you to come from Zimbabwe, your number must be logged on. If you are not like that, you don't cross the border into so I have a number they look at. And when they look at that, they say, Go. So do you see already? It's an operation by some certain digit number. Do you see it already? I now depend on that number. Oh, my details and where I stay. My age, my everything has been captured. 
And what are they doing in science? They have produced 5G. But this is a 5G. 5G even in the water, under the water. 5G You can receive your phone. Under phone the mine. You can receive your okay. phone. Which means you are under surveillance. Anyway. You are not clever. How about that? And Abraham says, these churches that you see will be closed. Why? They will ask for you if you are registered. And if they don't see the receipt, they don't allow you to come. Did that happen in the time of Brother Branham? It's happening in our time. Some of the churches in Europe are closed today. They want certain qualifications. And the brothers have failed to meet and the churches have been closed. We are coming towards that. Then they will say also, are you in the WCC? Do you have a receipt? What is your receipt number? It's there on the barcode. Give us a card. If your number does not show, you can't buy or sell. Which means you are between a rock and a hard place. But there is a power that has been deposited in you. Your money, you have it. But you can't buy and sell. See the power of that third pool now. You speak and things come into existence. This idea to say this message will make us buy cars, will make us buy houses, will make us be rich. It's a story from an old man. That's not what he's looking at. He's looking at your survival. I don't deny riches. I like riches. If they ask me to stay in Borodo, our ha. elite town, I'll be, the, I'll, I'll be running to that place. <laughs> but that has nothing to do with the message. What God has ordained for me to come to me. We'll just come anyhow. A few years ago when we came This young boy did not have beer Did you pray to have them? No Did you fast? No What happened for you to have beers? Tell me the other It's just natural processes Tell them what, 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 what happened It's just natural processes in the boat So if you are supposed to have a house why don't you believe to have a house? It's, it's yours already. If you are supposed to have a car, why do you need somebody to give you a car? That's the greatest lie under the sun. To say, I, I give you praise in the name of Jesus. It's a lie. I must encourage you. Why is it that you have to be a man? To know in the time appointed. You're going to have those beards. In the time appointed, you're going to be healed. Amen. You find people say, uh, Give me my car. Huh. Huh. Your car being given by somebody. I don't want anything from any man. I want things from God. If men give you, they control you. But if God gives you, He leads you to the word. Are we together? Friends? So, what is happening, bread of the Lord Jesus Christ? What is, what is happening? You are not buying an umbrella well when it's raining. How rake umbrella up line? You mess up your hair. You must be prepared. You must know your season. When women go to town, you find them buying some little some certain they are clever, they know their season. They're just waiting for the time. At a time appointed. It rains are here, like yesterday. 
You find them with some certain black thing they are putting on. But the bar, Where did they get plus tickets? But it's okay. They know the time. By it's in our Recognizing your day and its message. This is where we have come to. This is where we have come to. Just pray for me that brother Sam does not, you know, <laughs> deny to invite me later. No, brother <laughs> Sam. Yeah, my friend, brother Sam. Please, brother Sam. Seven thunders have come in. The message of the thunders. <clears throat> it was dealt with by brother Branham. He says one unfolded yesterday. That's under the seventh trumpet. When you say seventh trumpet, you are dealing with the Jews. But where are we at? We are between the sixth trumpet. Sixth trumpet means second world war. And the seventh trumpet. Eh? Huh? Are we together? It means what will happen in Revelation 11. We are in between there. That's when the prophet comes. We are in between those two trumpets. Do you follow what I'm saying? So, the other one that unfolded yesterday was under the seventh trumpet. Eh? Eh? Then the other one was in an unknown language. Eh? Eh? Who carries it out? It's the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ. So the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ has two things. The church and the shepherds. You see? That's Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1 and Luke chapter 2. Gabriel. Gabriel meets this woman. Thou art favored among women. And she believes it. It had never happened. That a woman expects without knowing a man. But she says, Be it unto me according to your word. So, Mary, as she's walking there. Rabbi Raboski does not know what happened yesterday. She's carrying a seed. But Rabbi Raboski does not know it. Rabbi Look at what happens to Mary. Auntie Elizabeth. Ah, Mangone Elizabeth. How are you? Utorajan. What happened yesterday? Yet what happened a few days ago? I was, going, I was going to the well. And something flashed. And here the words he talked to me. As she's saying that, what is in the womb of this woman? Arouses. Arouses. But look at her husband was in the temple. There is also visitation of angels. John, you are becoming old without a son. You have been doing the work of the Lord without apprehension of your promises. You are going to give forth a child and his name shall be John. And he doubted says because of that you are going to be damp and Elizabeth is expecting Elizabeth, six months and Mary comes there do you see the truth is in very little hands it's known by Mary here 
is known by uh, Zachariah the, the priest is known by his, his wife just a handful of people those are the ones carrying the little promise look at the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. when he's born it looked like this man Joseph was very a very bad planner and they go there without preparation. They don't even know where the child is going to be born. And when they go there, this woman is heavy. Until they do rush her. In a kettle crow. Your life is meant to fulfill the word of God. Your events in your life, they are in the hands of the Lord. You can't do anything more than that. Are we together? Then she brings forth. As she brings forth, we are very, very simple people. Very, very simple people. What are they called? The shepherds. These shepherds, they did not know English. They were not going to school. They were the very poorest of guys. They did not sleep in homes. They slept by the cable cross. Their life was ragged. Their language was rugged. They knew things about crows. But he is a little son who comes and born in a kettle king. That language Rabbi Raposko would not know it. And what happened? When that child was born angels came down. They started to sing carols in the city of David. Bethlehem Judah. Bethlehem Judah. A king has been born. Because when a king is born, the carols are sung. Who is knowing that again? The shepherds. So Mary knows the visit of Gabriel. The shepherds are also knowing that in the city of David somebody has been born. They visit there. They witness it. That's the little group only. That's knowing the presence of the world and the word in that time. In our day also there is this little bride and her shepherds they will carry the other part of the other fold. That in an unknown language. But the same message they are preaching. It will go to the Jews. Are we together? Praise the Lord. When it goes to the Jews. Then they will have their Moses and Elijah. It becomes that seventh trumpet again. I must just leave it. God bless you. Forgive me for taking your time. Mukalakumamati in Tarele, in Tarele, in Tarele.